Hi, my name is Patty, and I'm going to show you some dolls because there seems to be a big problem with all these fake dolls going around from China that are stolen sculpts and everything. So we're just going to go through some of the different types of dolls. First thing I'm going to show you is an Ashton Drake. This is Ashton Drake, Rex, and Ryan. Now, they're pretty good. They've weighted, and they're painted pretty lifelike. Um, they're not maybe as cuddly as a reborn but they're still they get a good paint job and they're worth the money i think um but next we're going to show you coco by elisa marks this is a reborn doll and it's painted by an artist in this case it's painted by myself and she's got the little veining up on her forehead and she's got the little i'm sorry you can't really see this the little uh tips on the nails and, <laughs> and she's also got a soft body and she's got weight in her hair she's also got a magnet in her mouth but I didn't bring her pacifier in here to do this but she's uh, pretty much feels like a baby and she, they're cuddly and um, I had a stroke four years ago and the stroke really I had one of my reborn dolls with me and it was really helpful to me and when I left there was a lady in the room next to me who was going to have to go to a nursing home because she didn't have anyone at home with her so I gave her my reborn to take with her and she cried but she called me several times and just kept telling me how much she loved that doll so I know they say it's good for Alzheimer's patients and things like that but don't forget stroke patients are really traumatized with what has happened to them and the fact that their bodies don't work right anymore even though their brain pretty much works and they know what's not working so um, when you have a stroke you know someone who's had a stroke you might think of them for a reborn doll okay so next i'm going to go with an ivita doll this is a chinese silicone ivita doll it's made out of silicone I can't remember. Anyway, they're very heavy. They're um, not real squishy. They're not real flexible, but they are silicone, and she's very, very heavy. And um, this, this, they usually come bald. This one, it happens to be rooted and maybe touched up with paint. But anyway, um, my granddaughter's other grandma bought it for her. So anyway, and she didn't know any better. So anyway, and this is a regular silicone doll and they are very squishy very flexible and feels and she feels like so much like a baby and this was from Kimberly dolls and she made her and I can't remember what her mold name was but she's adorable now this is the kind of doll that these Chinese sites keep telling you that you can get this silicone doll and they show them in the bathtub and it, which you can bathe her and everything and they show them in the bathtub that this is what you're going to get now unfortunately so many people have found out this is what you get instead this is a vinyl doll um, it is an anatomically correct it's about eight inches long and their dolls all stay there from 17 to 22 inches long so this is the main reason do not order from these china sites that talk about these lifelike dolls and you're getting silicone because you are not going to get a silicone doll this is what you're going to get which is maybe worth five dollars here in the u.s now this silicone doll that i was showing you i got from kimberly that they're trying to sell, tell you they're going to send you one for 50 60 70 dollars um these dolls run from 500 to thousands of dollars you're not going to get one for that price so when it you're thinking to yourself oh that's just too good to be true well it is because that's not what you're going to get just compare the two and save your money find someone who will take payments because this is a piece of trash okay now we're going to move on just a little bit and we're going to move on to a reborn toddler Re toddlers are my favorites and I know they're becoming more and more popular and this is the Mila sculpt by Ping Lao and I just finished her and I am absolutely in love with her I think she is such adorable that cute little smile 
trying to get you so you can see her face. It's so adorable. So anyway, this is another Reborn. And you're not going to find a Reborn, like I said, on these sites for $60, $70. This kit alone was $180. There's no way you could get this real kit and make this doll and sell it for $70. So anything you see like that coming from China, they are stolen sculpts. They are not meant by the sculptor. They are not reborn by an artist. They are done in a factory and you're gonna get what you pay for. You're gonna be very disappointed. Okay, now we're gonna go with one more doll and this is a masterpiece. And masterpiece dolls are popular with a lot of people. Now, I don't know if you can see, but she's got jointed knees. She doesn't have the jointed elbows. I do have some that have jointed elbows, but she's a beautiful doll. And the Masterpiece dolls, I think, I love the Masterpiece dolls. I think they're wonderful dolls. And right up there with Matt, with uh, Reborn Toddlers, I love my Masterpiece Toddlers. Um, now, I'm no expert on all these dolls, but I have 103 dolls in my collection. I have made almost all my Reborns, and I think that people need to understand that you cannot get a cheap doll and get what you think you're getting. And the other thing is, is we do have scammer sites on Facebook for Reborns. Be sure and check them out because a lot of people will steal other artists' pictures and post them saying that that is their doll and they're selling it to try to scam you out of your hard-earned money. So, if you're looking for a doll and you find an artist, the, you can go to the scammer site, but not all artists are, no, everybody knows them on the scammer site. I saw an artist that I personally know from Facebook was listed on there at someone asking if she was legitimate, and she was. So you might ask the artist, do you have any uh, references, or have you sold, where have you sold at? Have you sold on Facebook? Have you sold on eBay? If I go to eBay, I have a lot of feedback from Reborns, and it's good feedback, and it's because they're happy with what they've got, and their Reborns made from sculpts that I can tell them what the sculpt is, and I can't just say, oh, I bought this sculpt this kit off eBay because there are a lot of stolen kits on eBay too and it's kind of scary and it's sad and it's not fair to the artist to or the sculptors to steal their kits and make them and artists work really hard trying to make you a quality product and there are a lot of beginner artists and a lot of them will tell you they're beginners and some are quite good right off the bat but some like me, we're slow at getting better. And um, so you need to pay attention and talk to people and make sure you're getting something you really want and not getting scammed. And last thing, never, ever, ever send money, friends, and family. That's a sure red flag that you're going to be scammed. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great evening. Bye-bye.